The history of Pinal County lies in its dirt. Agriculture has been the driving force of the economy for decades. But in tonight's Two Americas, we see times are changing for one rural farming community. The change driven by the environment. As ABC 15's Mark Phillips learned, by the creation of a high-performance electric automobile. Wow, what a car. It was a short ride from the assembly line to the press conference. Please welcome with me Governor Doug Ducey from Arizona. But it's all Governor Ducey needed to be sold on the Lucid Air Dream. They have a product that people are going to stand in line for. In less than two years, Lucid Motors transformed a Costa Grande cotton field into a million square foot manufacturing facility. It's producing an electric car with 1,100 horsepower engine that travels 520 miles on a single charge. More than 13,000 vehicles have been pre-ordered, some for as much as $169,000 with deliveries beginning by the end of the month. It is an untraditional industry for, for the area, that's for sure. Lucid hired more than 1,000 people, but this is only phase one. We want to build this to be the, the U.S. equivalent of, uh, of Stuttgart, um, where Daimler and it built the Mercedes brand. That means nearly tripling the size of the plant and hiring 6,000 people, which Lucid says it will do by the end of the decade. The manufacturing jobs coming to Pinal County, like here at Lucid, are well-paying jobs. But farming and cattle ranching are very much a part of the fabric of this county. Pinal finds itself at a crossroads, ready to welcome the future, fighting to hold on to its past. When my son built his house out here 10 years ago, none of that was there. This was pristine. The none of that Nancy K. Wood is referring are solar farms. As access to water becomes harder, farmers are leasing their land to electric co-ops who are planting solar panels. The Kaywood farm is about to be surrounded by them. So you feel all kind of emotions. You feel distraught, you feel hopeless, you feel angry, you feel sad. Kaywood Farms is hanging on for now. The agricultural lands will shrink at some point uh, to, I don't know what kind of a level. It'll be whatever we, they can match it with water. Pinal County Board Chairman Steve Miller has lived in Casa Grande 50 years. He sees the arrival of Lucid as the start of an economic boom. Property values are up, more businesses tied to Lucid are coming, and more importantly, the children are coming home. All three of my kids left Casa Grande and all three of my kids have moved back. They all live here. And I, not because I solicited them to move back, it was just shocking to me that they all moved back but that is being repeated over and over again. But as Casa Grande grows, farmers like Nancy Kaywood see the writing on the wall. Because if we don't have the, the water, how can we even coexist? Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona. According to the governor's office, the Lucid Motor Plant will generate $100 million in state, county, and local tax revenue by 2030. To see more stories like this one from across the nation and right here in Arizona, a new story from our Two Americas series airs at 6.30 every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night. Also, we invite you to send us your ideas for the series to share at abc15.com and watch every story on abc15.com slash two Americas.